the history of how the county namesake uh, was changed was amazing and actually took a number of years to get there. You know, it wasn't just an overnight thing. Um, first, with a little bit of history about um, King County is that in 1852, the county was originally named for um, William King. And William King was uh, the vice president to Franklin Pierce. Um, he was pretty low-key guy, but then some things rose to the surface on his reputation about uh, being a slave owner. Um, he owned over 500 slaves. He uh, was a senator from Alabama. Um, and one of the quirky little things, um, a connection and how, how history intersects is that he actually named Selma, Alabama. So we all know the history of Martin Luther King and um, the Selma to Montgomery March. So um, that's just a little interesting kind of quirky thing. So in 1852, um, King County is named for um, William King the vice president to Franklin Pierce. Um, it, it stays that for years and years. Obviously, fast forward to 1986, and we have um, Ron Sims, who is now on the King County Council. He's the first African American to sit on the King County Council. He proposes an idea that the county be named for uh, Martin Luther King. And this is 86, so it's coming on the heels of when um, Eddie Rye and uh, Central Area Community Grassroots had just got Empire Way South changed to Martin Luther King Way. So two years later, uh, Sims is saying, well, um, you know what? Um, I think it would be an excellent idea. Um, who else will join me on the King County Council to for this proposal to change the name. And most of the council members are really good with it. But there were a couple that were pushing back and saying, well, um, leave history as it is. Why are you, you know, why are we here um, changing this name? And there were people even in the media at that time saying, well, um, if we're gonna change to King County, why don't we just change Washington State to Booker T. Washington instead of George Washington State? So there was all kinds of controversy going on in the community, and the King County Council was, was feeling this, this pushback. So they, they sit with it, and they sit with it, and finally um, they decide to adopt King County um, in, as the namesake with Martin Luther King. So again, it was an adoption within uh, the council. Fast forward again to 1999, and you have Larry Gossett, who is coming to the King County Council. Ron Sims is the county executive at that time. So Larry proposes at the council, let's, um, now that we're King County, let's, get a new logo. Let's get this logo that actually represents Martin Luther King. Because prior to that, I don't know if anyone remembers, but the uh, county logo was a crown. And so he was proposing a likeness of Martin Luther King. Well then, oh gosh, the ugly head rises again and, and people start coming out of the cracks with all of these um, uh, stories and accusations pitting um, William King's reputation and legacy against Martin Luther King. We all know that Martin Luther King came in peace and um, equity and justice, and he was that person that we, we held high esteem. He'd, he'd won the Nobel Peace Prize. So people were coming from both directions um, about their idea of King County. And there were members on the county council who were saying, well, you know, back in 86, that was, um, that was more symbolic. You know, we were, we were giving this, uh, this rename out of symbolism, but we really needed the uh, state legislature to make it official. 
So that's where, um, again, all the controversy began. Um, there were years of uh, Adam Klein, our senator in, um, at the state capitol, who was encouraging this vote. Um, he brought the vote to change King County eight times, eight times before it was actually adopted in, the, um, in Olympia in the Senate. He, together with uh, Eric Pettigrew from the 37th District, um, in the House was able to manage and pass by a really slim vote um, to adopt and officially recognize King County as Martin Luther King Jr. King County. And from there, um, they still hadn't made any commitment to the logo. You know, the, the whole thing with Larry bringing um, the idea of the logo pushed this whole legislation piece. So it wasn't until 2005 when this legislation was actually official. Um, the King County Council decides to let For Culture, they're the arts and culture branch of the county, to um, put a bid um, out for artists to um, design a new logo for the county. And we wait another two years till 2007 when we actually have the official logo, uh, wearing my pin proudly today um, that recognizes Martin Luther King. So it wasn't an, a, an easy piece to have happen. Um, I've always said that um, in most black households, well, in a, a number of black households, there were three pictures that were on the wall, right? There was Jesus, there was JFK and Martin Luther King. So um, again, this was a huge, huge uh, deal for people in Washington state and not just black people, but uh, many other advocates that were um, proponents of uh, changing the name. So that in a nutshell is kind of how it all happened.